Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Git Crash Course. So as you can see on my screen, we are going to talk about branches today. So the first topic would be branch creation. How do we create the branch? We have two ways for that. First, you can create through GitHub and second through local. And then we'll talk about how to push the branch. Then we'll talk about raising a PR or a pull request. And then we'll talk about merging the branches. So these are the four or five topics that we are going to talk about today. So before moving forward in our video, I'd like to request that if you have not subscribed my channel, kindly do so. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. So first of all, open the folder in which you have created a fresh project, right click and open the git bash here. I've already opened it. The first command that you have to type is git branch hyphen L. So git branch hyphen L gives you the repository that is on your local, which is the master right now. And then you can type git branch hyphen R. R gives you the repository which is on the re remote repository basically. So we have only master in both the cases. Now what we'll do, we'll try to create a branch in here over, over in the GitHub first. So right now we have only master branch over here. Let us create one more branch. We'll give a name develop. So develop is a branch name. As soon as I click on it, it will create me a develop branch. So this develop branch is exactly the same copy of your master branch. Now if I go over here and I'll check git branch hyphen r, what do you think it will do? So ideally it should give me the master branch and the develop branch which I just created. So a lot of time what happens is whenever you talk about the branching strategies that any company that follows, they already have two, three branches extra, which is known as master, which is the main branch for the release. And then you have dev or a develop branch in which you write your code and you create your feature branches. And then you have UAT or user acceptance testing branch or a release branch. So that's all the branches are. So right now it ought to show me both the branches, but it is not showing. Why? Because the local has not got the changes. So you have to type a command git fetch. And once you type the git command git fetch, what it will do is this local git will make a call to your GitHub. So this remote GitHub will get a call from that. And then once the connection is done, it will reply and it will get you the results. Let me just refresh this and minimize this. And you can see that git fetch has given you a result new branch develop. So if I type git branch hyphen L, it will give me master branch because we are we are on master branch. But if I type git branch hyphen R, then it will give me both the branches. So first branch would be the master branch and the second branch would be the develop branch. And you can see that it has given me develop and master branch both. So that's how it works guys. So let me just clear it. Now I will tell you how to create a branch from local. So what do you have to type git checkout and then hyphen b, b is for branch and a new branch. So let me type uat which is the user acceptance testing branch and hit enter. So it says switch to a new branch uat. Okay, so the branch is created over here. So if I type git branch hyphen l, it showed me uat. So uat is the branch that we are going to talk. Now I have to make changes in the uat. So before that I have to push this uat into the github so right now i can see only two branches master and develop over here and i have to move this into the github so what i'll do i'll just first of all let me make some changes over here. so i'll do ls hyphen al and we create a new file over here let me just clear this so i'll just create a new file touch in uat let me type uat dot txt so there is a file that's got created. If I type git status over here, you can see there is a file, new file, and then I'll just add it, git add hyphen dot, not hyphen, just dot, git comment dot hyphen m message, new file in UAT. Hit enter. It's done. So will I see the changes over here? Let's see. I did not see any changes over here. Why? Because we have not pushed the code. So git, push and let's see what happens now it hasn't pushed because 
you have to push to the current branch you have to make it upstream so they have already given us this command git push hyphen hyphen set upstream origin uat so let me just clear this first i'll just clear it paste the command which they gave us and hit enter and wait for it to set a link between both of them and push the branch so let's see what happens and now you can see that it has pushed the changes now what did i what i'll do over here is i'll just refresh this and see okay this is let, let me go back okay in the fresh project and you can see uat has recent pushes less than a minute ago so right now i can see three branches over here master develop and uat perfect so the first thing that we have learned today is how to create a branch through local and through github now everything is in sync let me type get branch hyphen r over here and it will show the remote branches in the meantime i'll just minimize this and go over here now we'll talk about the other topic we have talked about two topics pushing the branch and creating a branch in two ways now we'll talk about compare and pull request so if you can see i'll just go to the uat it says that it's one commit ahead of master as my uat was created from master branch it is saying that it is ahead of master now why it is ahead because we have given this file in sorry in dev repo in uat.txt so this was the new file added but if i check it with my master it does not have that file why because we have added only one change so what we'll do we'll create a pull request so you can get this kind of notification to add but this is not the ideal way you can create you can just compare and pull create a pull request you have to create it from here so click on here in the meantime if you can see git branch hyphen r has given us the three results which is perfect now i'll just clear this over here let me just go back and then we'll create a pull request now what we'll do is compare and pull request click on that the base is master and comparing with uat so it's saying able to merge that it can merge these branches can be automatically merged so you can give anything over here or leave a comment the code looks good looks good kindly approve that's all on your right side you can add the reviewer who can approve it but right now there are no approvers because this is my account and i am only taking care of it but you can add the reviewer from here that's pretty much about it and then create a pull request once the pull request get created and if you have a reviewer over here you can get him ask him and the reviewer gets a notification that there is a new file uat-2 pull request is created for you you have to approve it so all you have to do go over here check that new file in uat there is a pr which is open over here what you have to do go inside and you can merge the pull request there are three options create a merge commit squash and merge rebase and merge in the first option all commits from this branch will be added to the base branch via a merge commit which we are going to do today squash and merge is the one commit from this branch will be added to the base branch the one commit which we did will be added to the base branch rebase and merge the one commit from this branch will be rebased and added to the base branch it will be a rebase which is different so right now we'll just let it be and i can give any comment code looks good approved like this anything you can give and merge the pull request so you can either just comment on it the comment will come and just merge the pull request confirm merge and that's all you have to do so that's all done it has changed its color to purple now if you go back let me go over here refresh and let's check the master branch if you go in the master branch we can see that in uat txt file has come over here so that's how it works guys so we have talked about four things creation of branch by two ways git and through github second how do you push a branch which we just talked about uat third option is creating a pull request and fourth is merging them so that's how it works guys so i hope all these four things have have been uh, easy for you to understand if there is any issue feel free to comment below and in the meantime if you change your branch so if i type git checkout any any other branch like master so you can easily switch to master and you can check git 
let me have ls hyphen al you can see that the file has not come here which is the uat file so after clearing just type git pull over here and let's see what happens so you can see when you did a git pull over here it's saying that in uat text file has come over here and if you type ls hyphen al you can see that in uat.txt file has appeared over here so that's how it works guys so out of all the four topics i hope you have understood everything if there is any issue please feel free to comment below and we'll address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video